Good morning, everyone. Blacktop J back at it once again. I say good morning. It is definitely morning. It is early. At least for me, anyhow. It's just a little after 8 o'clock. And I'm at the Thomas A. Dixon Jr. Observation Park right outside of BWI Airport in Baltimore. It's kind of an impromptu video because I and if the audio is a little off it's I don't have my microphone with me because like I said it was kind of a spur of the moment type deal it's actually like a, a bike race or something going on uh, you can see the parking lot over there when I when I first got here everybody was getting all their gear on and uh, maybe not a bike race but some sort of bike ride. But yeah, I just uh, decided to stop through here. It's a beautiful morning. Sun is out. All day yesterday it was raining, very gloomy. So the sun was out, I thought, why not? Why not get out here and uh, watch some airplanes? I'm a, I'm a huge airplane fan. I've always been very fascinated with airplanes. So yeah, I just figured why not Man, I'll shoot a little video and uh, watch some airplanes. It's very, very relaxing. You can hear the birds chirping. The sun is out. It's not a cloud in the sky. And uh, it feels pretty good. It's about 50, 52 degrees outside. And it's more of, a, more of a walk and talk, I guess. You know? I uh, sort of decided to do like a walk and talk type deal. Um, just kind of get some channel updates. And my hair's oh, my hair is a disaster. Don't pay attention to that. Kind of give like an update to my channel. Uh, as you guys who are probably seeing this uh, can tell, my channel is very young, very fresh. And, uh, you know, I, I never thought I would be the guy to start a YouTube channel, but uh, I did. I just figured, why not? This is all stuff I do all the time, traveling, going to places, checking things out. I figured, what's the harm in uh, filming it and, uh, you know, making content out of it? I find value in other YouTubers' content like this. and. So I figured, well, maybe people can find value in mine. So I am trying to grow it. I'm still experimenting with what I want to do. I'm doing the stuff that I want. I'm never going to be one of those YouTubers that I'm just making content just for the sake of making content. And, you know, I don't really uh, have any rhyme or reason. I'm just doing it just to do it or I'm doing it for the views and I'm doing it for all that. It's not really my style. And actually... I'm not sure how well this is gonna come up on video. There's like some steps going nowhere, just kind of sitting out there. I'll check this out, we got another plane coming. I know the sun's probably bright. Yeah, the video doesn't really do it justice like now that I'm looking at it through my camera it uh, really doesn't do it justice just how close you are to the airport or to yeah well the airports over there the landing strip is over there you can hear the roar of the engines this field out here actually there's a lot of signs like that sign right there stating no trespassing in this field right here but the walkway right here is a path, and the path actually goes way down there through the woods. But I showed you the steps just a second ago. And then right back there, I don't know how well you can see it. It's like this abandoned structure, this, this building. Not sure what it was. I can see it better with my eyes, but it is not coming through the camera very well. So yeah, I uh, 
still kind of experimenting with what I want to do on my YouTube channel, like exactly what I want to show because I am uh, very interested in a lot of different things. I just, uh, I don't want my channel to be all over the place. You know, I don't want it to be, uh, you know, 16 different types of video. Uh, I want some consistency. But uh, I was thinking um, about doing like a mukbang type series because uh, I do love food. I love traveling and one of my favorite things to do on the road, which I'm sure it's a lot of favorite people's things, a lot of people's favorite thing to do on the road is eat. I like, I like to try different places I've never been to before. And I love trying local establishments, places that are, you know, just only the locals know about. And I've always been very fascinated with like food challenges because let me tell you, when I eat, if I want to, I can eat a lot. Um, but I thought about, I could do some food reviews from different towns that I go to. And if they got challenges, if they got something that I can sink my teeth into, no pun intended. Now I can knock those out and kind of show you guys. So I'm kind of doing the best of both worlds. I'm, I'm showing these small towns, these areas that I'm going to and trying their uh, local cuisine. I th think it could be fun. I like haunted attractions and, you know, ghost stories and abandoned buildings and roadside attractions and different things like that. Kind of off the beaten path type places. I've always been very fascinated. I should have started a YouTube channel a long time ago because if I would have, you know, who knows where the channel would be today because I've always loved going places and checking things out. So this is kind of a walk and talk for those that are interested in this sort of thing. I know not a lot of you guys know who I am and that's okay. I'm, I'm hoping that we'll all get to know each other and, uh, you know, you guys can come on this journey with me. I've always been a big team player type type of guy and I love building things from the ground up I love building things from scratch and and uh, watching things grow this is a very grassroots DIY if you will type YouTube channel I'm not running ads I'm not really even promoting it all that much outside of uh, my Instagram account that I made specifically for my YouTube content and uh a TikTok. I've never had a TikTok before. I was never really kind of on that train. But uh, I made a TikTok for my account. If you're uh, interested in that, you can find me at Blacktop J. So I don't know. We'll see what the future holds, but definitely more small towns, more haunted, abandoned type deals. And if you guys like these walk and talks, I could definitely do more of them. Now we're gonna continue walking down here. You can see the highway is off beyond those trees. But this, earlier when I said it goes deep in the woods, it does go deep in the woods. I mean, this 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 trail, I've only ever actually walked this trail definitely one time before. It's been a few years. I don't know if I've done it more than once. If I did, I don't remember. But it goes all the way around and I mean, I don't, I've never walked a whole thing. I don't know where it stops. But, and you can see right here and off in the distance there, that's where I just came from and the no trespassing signs for this area out here. Like I said, this is an airport. This is the Baltimore Washington International Airport. I just, I thought, I think it's so cool that that they have a like a observation park where you can come out and bring the family or just come out by yourself like I am now you know if, if you're into hiking and jogging and things like that you could do all that here and go sit down they got some comfortable benches and areas where you could sit at the park and watch the airplanes land they also have a playground for kids so you could bring your kids out. They could play on the playground. 
they got picnic tables. I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of really cool, cool things around here. And I think it's just so cool that they have an airplane observation park. How cool is that for, you know, people that like airplanes? Now, like I was saying earlier, I got to get, see, all right. Number one, I'm not wearing my sunglasses. Again, impromptu visit to the Thomas A. Dixon Jr. Aviation Observation Park. I'm doing this on my iPhone, so, and I keep looking at the screen so I can see myself instead of the camera, right, looking at you guys. If I do that, just smack me in the face in the comments below. But, but yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be doing some uh, some food review type videos. Not so much a review, cause you know I'm not some judge. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, I tried to get that airplane that was coming by. That didn't work out so well. But anyways, I'll get the other ones. I'm sure there will be plenty more airplanes. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing some f uh, food reviews, if you will. Going to different towns. Also, I'm a huge, um, huge coffee fan, so I like trying local coffee shops. I mean, you know, you have your Dunkins and your Starbucks and all that stuff, and I don't have a problem with those places for sure. But uh, I like trying uh, all the local cafe coffee type places. Excuse me. Apologize, it's not very nice to do on camera, is it? But I'm gonna stop rambling. If you guys are interested in this content, you think I'm doing a good job, you want to support me, a simple subscription to my channel would be more than enough. Thumbs up on the video, much appreciated. I'm gonna spend some more time out here at the airplane park. I'll add in some more clips of uh, some planes flying overhead. Kind of ran out of things to say. I just wanted to sort of talk about my channel a, a little bit and well, you guys get to know me some. And yeah, I'm going to end it here. Watch some more airplanes. Probably walk back to my car here shortly. And I'll see you guys down the road as always. Thank you guys. I've actually decided to hang out right in this area because, and I could not believe I missed this, but it was a massive Delta airline and it flew right in between the path right here. I mean, super, super close. And if you can see through the trees, the field earlier in the video that I was pointing at that said no trespassing. It was actually that field right there, but right there beyond this tree line. So we're essentially on the back side of this field. And I'm gonna hang out here for a second. And I'm gonna catch one of these planes coming because I mean it was I mean it was right there. I felt like I could jump up and touch it. Man, that was awesome. I think we might have one coming. Here's something. Guys, if you're ever in the Baltimore area, you got to come out here. Again, it's the Thomas A. Dixon Jr. Aviation Observation Park. Oh, here's one right here. Is that not cool or what? Now, the other one that I was just talking about was much closer and much larger than that plane. And these planes are coming every couple of minutes. So, I'm gonna keep hanging around. I wanna see some more. I love this kind of stuff. It's exciting. And we have another. Oh yeah.